police, police of the top half the chief premise, he gunned it, pepper spray the food, police, see the police, police, don't you say, police. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything what you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it's simple me path will clear once you come to them doors will open when you knock and obstacles will be removed before you reach them don't worry about what you think might happen focus on what is happening and make the best of it remember listen good man remember you are a powerful creator of solution just that you will continue to receive divine support when needed keep going never you give up always remember that but anyway well, I'm going my people, hope everybody is okay, hope everybody is alright. Ta-da! I need to find myself alive, I'm so excited. Yes, people, I am excited to be alive this morning. I am not dead, you understand? I am not dead. All organs are work, nothing to plug out, you understand? Boom, 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 boom. Holy pa shot in a bad mind, head. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely, surely, surely not amongst the dead. People, one of the passing thing I go on. One only passing. We see the teacher go some boom and go in the woodwork room. We see the real things that she not going there for. If we go do electrical, no man, I would she go in there to get. But hold on, we saw we try there there so you understand because everybody sit down on the veranda and watch their friend come come kill Julia and then them come on a ball. Nobody worry on yourself, man. People, we don't know so we got things covered. But me I go start right there so. Me, I go start the news right there. So every day I come, I tell you so the police them a big idiot. You understand? And some people feel like say, a foolish is me a chat. Imagine, poor little Daniel, them take her from school last week, Thursday, and cut her throat, and them find her right down on one place, right down on one part, from Roosevelt Avenue. You understand? I come out of a little building and then look us up there. And you I tell me, say, and yesterday the police them decide say, yo, they might go up there and search your clue. Oh, that makes sense. I am appealing to motorists or anyone who was in the vicinity um, within the period of 4 to about 5 uh, p.m. That is Thursday the 8th of June to drag your mem memory. Check your dash cam to see if you, you observe a female with, with multicolor top and blue knickers or denim walking anywhere within this vicinity with a young child possibly carrying a knapsack on her back on her back it is important that we really collectively as a nation pool our energy together to ensure that this case is not one of those that is placed on a shelf but that the person who is responsible is brought to justice. All of us, as Jamaican, we have a duty, a duty to ensure that this is done. Most of us that are standing here, we are all parents. And we understand what a child means to us. And for that child to be killed in such brutal way, it must hit the nerve of every Jamaican. If a dem a man now now wait for self crime, it no make no sense. And you know make no sense. Anyway, now people, me see them go so boom and put up my neighbor and say my neighbor wanted. Me know say my gunman still in about. Me never did know say wanted. Tap a look on the screen. This a boy me attack. Can I chambers? Otherwise called kids. Yes, him see him one. I'm not people them say my view. Everybody here neighbor. I go on pan, I go on. You don't have to believe me. But if you look on the screen right now, who is this? Oh, is this me I show no? See him there? I'm a neighbor. You understand? So any good man I look for him. 
link me up. Me will tell you exactly which part for find him. Me not tell the police. Police are look for boys for put behind bars. Me not depend on that. You understand? Grow me need them for go under. So what I said, I mean what I said. You know me already, people. Me not take you back. A team of officers assigned to the Kingston Eastern Police Division seized one Taurus revolver and 32 assaulted rounds of ammunition during an operation on Norman Manley Boulevard in Kingston. Report reaching a news team from Alistair North Police that about 9.20 a.m. lawmen in the era when a premises was searched. During the search, the firearm ammunition were seen wrapped in a bag that was in a tree. No one was arrested in connection with the seizure. Me said the amount of time this is going to make news a drama. Two people died in separate crashes in St. Catherine and Clarendon. Dead are 51 year old Everton Daly of Newlands in Portmore, St. Catherine, and 66 year old Novelet Riley, a dressmaker of Duke Street in Tollgate, Clarendon. Member, member, good. Me show no Everton picture ready. A Everton is squish out. Yes, people. But we never tell exactly what I'm so I can tell you now. In the latest incident around 11.40 p.m., Riley was hit by a car in Fort Pass, Clarendon. Police reported that the driver of the vehicle was parked when he got stuck in the mud. In a bid to remove the vehicle from the mud, the driver lost control of the vehicle, which hit Riley, pinning her to the ground. Other incident at around 11.35 p.m., Daly was hit from his bicycle by a motor car that did not stop. The man never stopped people because the man knows same day, they understand. Both of them pronounced dead. Right there, they death up on this spot. I'm speaking of that right on the Greenwich Farm again because the people them sit down on the veranda and the youth are all of them know. Yes, me talk it as it is. The youth are pull the gate and come through the gate. Everybody when they sit down on the veranda with Julie know him. Every single one out of them understand. I remember, I remember good. We know Sir Julie them mix up. We know Sir Julie them mix up. You understand? That is why she gets so much shot. But when you come, come argue with me this morning. Uno come come argue with me and tell me, oh, Julie is a nice person, this and that and that. No, no bother with that, you know. Uno no come come bother with that, you understand. Go and avenge the killing that I want to do. Instead, I no come and argue in the comment section. Uno go rise on sitting and go avenge it because you no. Know. I will come in there, come come, saka saka out there and kill her right there, there's up on the spot. Anyway, be done with that, you understand. Me go back over Central Village now. Member, member, go there the police go over there and shot man and a bag of people and say I'm imported. But them never tell you, say, Black Pussy get shot too. Yeah, Black Pussy not dead. Him and him friend get shot. Bigs them over there and get trouble. So only they really feel like, say, me that they are Central Village. And phone in him not call. When I make a sad mistake, the people them come out and attack. The people them come out and attack. Remember the people them come and say, my view, you need to go in the community. I hear from some of the elders, them tell you who giving all of the trouble. So I did just that. Good day, I wanted to reach out to you regarding the Central Village area, Windsor Heights to be exact. I would love if you could post this on your platform as I saw a few of your videos recently and wanted to shed some light on it. I am from the Central Village community, I just want to let it known that before these recent times our community used to be plagued with war, but things have changed drastically, I just wanted to. Responded with factual information about the Central Village community the firearm was seized in Chinatown Maca Tree from the Chinatown gang and one of the men were shot and killed the firearm. Does not belong to Reds also he is from Central Village he isn't from Waterhouse the police know Reds very well if he was doing unlawful acts he would already be dead or in jail as police recently. Arrested him for three days where he was processed then released. In addition to that the Dinadu James situation we have heard about rapes, but there is no evidence of that and have heard reports of him terrorizing people of the compound area, but as with Reds the Police have also checked in with him and also his father was an elbow man that was killed by police in the uptown area of Pat Pine whilst he was robbing a bar, the men from Elbow actually have a strong bond with Dinadu and have always tried to secure peace with him and other parts of the community Corey Rowe has been deported over 10 years now and that man wasn't even really involved with Central Village until maybe a few years ago and because of him and the Elbow community we have not had a murder in the Windsor Heights area in almost two years you can check that fact with the police if someone dies here it is surely the lawmen doing their job. Corey Rowe always tries to secure peace so that the community can strive previously there used to be rapes. Extortion and war but he abolished it from the community we can literally sleep with our doors open here as said you can check with the police about this. The community was very shocked to hear this. 
TBH and decided that someone had to respond because these youth support every event, every party, and are so supportive. However, regarding the Chinatown war, it is purely internal, but it is true that those who left from Chinatown do come to elbow sometimes, but not for war, but because they know no one will trouble them. Even though they are from the opposite community and are fighting internal wars around there also it is very sad that once someone who is in foreign gives back and participates in recreational activities they have to buy guns and shots we all need to live together in peace our community is a great place and we have a lot of future here these people need to stop try starting a war we all grew together as friends and family so we should be able to come together and live in unity and leave it's funny that they say elbow have gunmen around here and even the police that drive and patrols the community always say nobody don't live at elbow because they always see everyone playing football and if not the place is empty there is no wanted man here taliban hasn't been to village in years and regarding to colorado he gave up badness a long time ago people always calling his name but he left village a long time ago he doesn't want to have anything to do with badness and he was never really that person he always focused on money but got caught up with the wrong company as many youth this all factual information from a natural standpoint regarding the strife and conflict that has been on uproar within our community over the past few weeks and we would love for the police to keep an active presence in the community also Biggs I've heard the name before I think it's a juvenile from Chinatown he is also a part of the internal FUD around there with Mento. So it was Donato when they said he was firing the shots at night. But now it's the internal FUD at Chinatown with youths like Foodie and Biggs they walk with guns in broad daylight the police. Actually told Foodie mother that he should bring himself in for questioning but he did not and are at war with Mento and other youths that left from their Chinatown gang which are now currently at Elbow or use Elbow for they safe heaven as they know China have Elbow have a peace treaty so they think Elbow will make China men not want to touch them it's the internal FUD causing it and that's also how police killed someone Monday and and two others got shot I have image of the one that died his name is Marazel and one of the other two that got shot name is Black Puss.